you don't like donuts, you're not a human. Feeding time. Feed me more. Yo, what's going on? It's feeding time, bitches. <laughs> I love Sandy. None of your bitches. I'm just welcome to feeding time. I am the big guy right back today, guys. We're going. We're going in. We're going hard. We're going heavy. We're. Uh, it's wake up. It's feeding time. Did I just spit on myself. Damn it! Botched my own entrance. I got the Royal Rumble on here, guys. I got the sound off so YouTube doesn't pick up on that and. Or anything of that nature because you're not allowed to do that. All these rules around here. Uh, just a big dumb Neanderthal here just trying to have a nice big cheat meal before my 48-hour fast. I got a Zevia here. Some of you get pissed off that I put it. They're like, you're promoting Zevia. Well, I'm not. I actually just truly really enjoy the soda. They were a major uh, sponsor for the podcast for quite some time. Hopefully, we, uh, we'll, we'll get them back on eventually. But it has not happened yet, so... Uh, today, guys, we are doing, I got, so I got a weird assortment. I got a dozen donuts here, but from Dunkin' Donuts, they, the guy messaged me and said they were all out of every donut that I had on there, except for one jelly donut, which he didn't even give me a jelly donut. I'm realizing now looking at it, even though that was the one donut on. Um, so I just said, just give me a dozen or whatever. So he got me a lot of the girly ones. So, you know, cool. Uh, and I don't know how many of these I'm going to eat. I'm going to try to eat all of them. But I also got a, a Subway. They have a, a, a veggie. They have a meatless. I don't know if it's a Beyond Meat sandwich patty. But uh, I just did a big monster chest and ab workout. So I got this foot long. <laughs> That's what she said. And uh, just look at it. Um, lettuce, tomatoes. I got that the veggie patty, so I'm gonna be doing a review on this, but doing this, this is a huge calorie cheat meal uh, going into my 48 hour fast. So I load up on the calories and uh, because my, my body will, will start burning fat really, really quickly and efficiently here. And I take the day off, I let myself rest. I let every, I do water, black coffee, and my wake up unlimited energy pre-workout uh, by Feed Me More Nutrition. It's calorie free, sweetened with stevia and monk fruit, and it does not break a fast. Unlike aspartame and sucralose pre-workouts that do break a fast because they cause an insulin response. So don't let that shit happen to you. But uh, I got spinach on here as well. Jalapenos, banana peppers, low fat mayonnaise. And uh, in fact, I got myself some more information. I got two of these bad boys. Uh, hopefully it doesn't suck. But as you, if you've watched these, I like this stuff. Right now, we got uh, Daniel Bryan and The Fiend in the ring uh, going at it as well. So I may be looking over occasionally, giving some random commentary. Mm. Mm. Wow. Smell my sandwich. Take a bite. Come on. Okay. Mm. This may be a long video, guys. Also got a black coffee here. I got the Zevia. And I got water with fever. Um, I'm an asshole. I have so many drinks. Just look at me. Fucking pig. Although, all my drinks have no calories, so. And then this is a veggie sub. So the donuts are really the only things that call it, you know, I'm being a piece of shit about, but. Doing a 48 hour fast is um, very challenging. For a guy like me, that is used to consuming a lot of calories. But again, I do things, guys, to mentally challenge myself. And here's the deal. Just I'm always very transparent with everything that I do. I just want you guys to see how fucking mentally tough I am. 
with all the bullshit I've, I've gone through with life, because we all go through it, it's all mental. So that's why I do all these different fucking videos. I just want people to see that I'm like, not a big, dumb, steroid fucking idiot. That there's so much more than meets the eye. And there's no better way. I could tell you all day long, but a lot of people don't listen. So you have to just fucking show people. So that's what I do. And it, like, the difference between me and a, a steroid fucking guy and people to do that is that they're weak and insecure. They have a weak mind. And that's cool. That, that's their life. I look the way that I look and I do the things that I do because of my mind. It's the complete opposite. But from the outside looking in, you guys can't always tell. So. Not that I'm fucking special. I just, I work hard and I'm always learning and the brain is the one thing that sets us all apart. The physical can only go so far with that. Those strap matches, guys, you can't fake that leather. Slapping you like a belt sucks. The worst part about that is, is later that night when they drive or when they get in the shower in the arena and they're in the Fiend and, and Daniel Bryan are in the shower together, lathering their little bodies up with the soap and the fucking hot water hits those, those burns. They're going to share on that pain together in that shower. I can appreciate that. New show coming on the WWE Network. WWE, because they've exposed the entire business business as it is. I got two shows I want to pit, pitch. I would like to be creative director of. WWE Behind the Curtain. Um where they literally show the guy sitting down and putting together their entire match A to Z before they go out and actually do the match. And then WWE in the showers where you film from the waist up your favorite WWE superstars showering together after competing in the match. Really give you an in-depth behind the scenes look of what a WWE superstar goes through. I'm surprised I haven't done it yet. Just fucking ruin everything. I remember when I met fans home. So hungry. Maybe I'll eat that second one off. I don't want to do this. I'm going to eat all this, but also don't want to do these videos for like an hour. And it is nice. It's like, fuck, let me enjoy some of my food in private. Do I have to be a pig in front of you guys all the time? I remember though WWE, a lot of fans early on when I when they would see me without the singlet on, which to me I always took as a testament to that the character was very identifiable, identifiable uh, in the singlet, which is why I always liked it. They'd be like, "Where's the singlet?" And I'd be uh, like doing an autograph signing, or I'd be in the store, or just any setting outside of wrestling. And I was always dumbfounded by that, that like, with that, like, should I be in the fucking singlet at all times? Am I missing something? Am I fucking up here? Am I the dumb one? It happened so much that I thought I had the problem. Mm -hmm. Daniel Bryan's in really good shape mysteriously on this. Has anybody else noticed that from the Royal Rumble? Which this is obviously airing after. He's like in way better shape than I ever remember seeing him, even if recently. He doesn't have good genetics. Arms are lean, defined. I'm gonna have to look more into this. Mm. Healthy meal right here. 
I'm really fucking it up with these donuts, but I need the calories. Something, 48 hour fast. I have not done, the longest I've ever done is 56 or 56 and a half hours, I think. I started getting lightheaded. I just started being a little bitch. I convinced myself I needed to eat. But they do say when that happens, until you get better at it, and I was driving, and I just went, I just stopped. This is when I was still eating like fish and meat, and this was a while back. <clears throat> I just stopped and got sushi and ate so much sushi. I felt, I'm not gonna lie, I felt amazing after. But I was, because that, that, well, I was deep into it. But I had one more night to go to get to, what was I doing, a 72? I think that was, I'm trying to, that's the goal. But man, I tell you, like, guys, it, when this stuff, like, I'm, I'll be good, get through the day. That first night, you always get, like, you think you need to eat. And uh, I got to be careful. I can't drink, like, a ton of liquids. Because you'll actually, and I haven't been getting it lately on them. But on the longer ones, the 24-hour ones is not an issue really, but on the longer ones, you get like a heartburn sometimes if you drink too much fluids. So it's like a balance, but you get bored sometimes as you're doing st stuff and you got to keep yourself busy because your body, it like, it's a weird thing that happens, but I do it too to promote healing and to let myself just totally rest. And it, again, it, it's a mental thing for me to really just, it's, that's life is just, uh, <clears throat> challenging yourself mm. I'm happy with that I could happen mm. all right done with that that was a week done I almost choked done So guys, uh, you know, water, I'm getting, dive into these donuts, do a few donuts on here with you guys, the, uh, I just farted, I don't think I've done that on here yet, fuck, I don't know if I should take that out now, I'm not gonna lie, it felt really good, I didn't want to. I mean, I burp on here. I eat with my mouth open sometimes because it depends if my nose is really clear. If my nose gets plugged up, I got to kind of like breathe through my mouth as I'm eating. I've gotten really good at it. Some people get offended, but what do you want me to fucking choke? Can't breathe. Son of a, you guys are the selfish ones. I farted on here. I don't know if that's good. I don't know if that's a good look for what I'm going for, but what am I going with? All of you telling me, go do stand-up comedy. Let me just fucking stop everything I do so I can go be a, go start my career as a, a fucking as Dolph Ziggler's fucking opening, opener. Which, by the way, they've asked me, Ryan, his brother Ryan Nemeth. Mmm, blueberry. My man, don't so well. Asked me, they, they got a couple paid gigs before, but I couldn't leave because of Sophie. And with all the Feed Me More Nutrition stuff. I'm just like, I can't. I would love to be able to do a five-minute fucking comedy act and just make fun of myself for five minutes. Because I think I would be really easy. I don't, I think that this stuff is, you know, not that I'm funny. I know there's some people that are like, you're not even that funny. Like, cool. A lot of people think they fucking am, asshole. You know, the most important thing is if I'm laughing inside, it doesn't matter because I'm happy. Mmm. Look at these donuts, guys. Smell them. Get your fucking hand off it, Jeffrey! You little bitch. I'm getting really sick of your shit. Every fucking week, and with all my different foods. Mm. These are so good. I don't know how many I'm gonna eat on here. I'm just going to keep going. Mm. Oh yeah, the fiend just took him out. Fiend. Oh, he kicked out. What the fuck? 
with his finisher. I hate it. I hate it when you kick out of the finishers. Just fucking whore out your finish. The only guy to ever kick out of my finish, by the way, was the big show. Only happened one time my whole career. And I didn't want it to happen. But I like Big Show. And he put me over, you know, before he was getting a big push to go and put over Randy. And uh, Vince wanted him to kick out of my finisher to make Big Show. I go, if there's anybody that's going to kick out of your finisher, seven foot giant, I'm okay with doing it. So usually they don't tell you they want that. But that was one I was happy to do it for. Because I like Big Show a lot. Mmm. These sprinkles were good. A surprising donut. I'm going to have one of each. Somebody's on here typing that I'm going to get diabetes and die or something. I don't know. Oh, that was definitely sitting around for a bit today. Not picky. If you guys haven't subscribed to my podcast, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback, I think you should. Every week I give it, I'm going to call it, like, feed me more motivation. I, I usually just say the thought of the week. Just feed me more motivation, though can't remember what week but I was talking about like the victim mentality and accountability and that the quickest way to start having success in life is just to take a complete accountability for everything as fucked up as the situation is I'm gonna tell you why and I'll use my WWE career for example and me leaving and doing the things I'm leaving but I explain things <clears throat> to people because I wanted my fans to understand like why I left and why I made the decisions I made and me being hurt because there's a lot of false misinformation out there. But at the same time, um, and, and I talked about and doing, I just did my, played every role to perfection. Um, we missed lightning in a bottle numerous times. But my, ah, oh, the damn oven went off. Is that gonna keep beeping? It's not the time to vegetarian meatloaf. Don't fuck up my YouTube video. Okay, guys, give me one second. Just, no, we're going to keep going. We're good. Uh, motherfucker. Hold on. All right, sorry, I had to take, shut off that vegetarian meatloaf. The, uh, the mother wanted to cook a couple of different things of, anyways. Um, so an ex example of like with myself guys of, um, accountability and, and the victim mentality that, and I explain things and, um, no matter who's right or wrong, it doesn't matter that when you just accept accountability, because when you don't, and you just try to like, even if you are right, it doesn't matter. Like everything I've, and I've talked about right on, but it, ir it it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter because your energy is going a negative direction. So even if you get everybody to agree with you. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. The result is still the same, right? So that's why, again, taking your energy and going a different direction with things and doing what you're doing. But even giving it negative energy the other way, it's just like, when you just accept accountability, no matter what, even if it's not your fault, it allows you to take your energy and move on to something else. Because otherwise, you're staying stuck in something that the result is already the result of. Does that make sense? So that was something for me. I, and I came across that in another book. And uh, I just thought it was powerful. And it's like the victim mentality. A lot of people uh, love playing the victim. And what happens is when you give that negative energy to that, you keep finding reasons to being a victim. Fuck that, I ain't no victim. And you just say at the end of the day, you know what, everything is my fault. Any fucked up thing in WWE, at the end of the day, I went out there and agreed to do it because I was making money and I have my reasons for them pulling the multi-million dollar lawsuit and everything, but at the end of the day, and I tried my best to get things changed at different times, but it is what it is, right? So, and then eventually, fuck this, 
I'm not happy, I'm hurt, this isn't worth it anymore, and leave. And that's the best thing you can do, and just accept accountability. So that's my little feed me more motivation. The Fiend won good. I like the Fiend as champion. I like Bray a lot. Mm. Yeah, Daniel Bryan has veins in his biceps now. He's definitely... That's suspicious. He never had that like that. I'll do one more donut on here. The blue one. Look at my eyes. Hmm. Not bad. So I have one more sub and seven donuts I'm going to do as I watch the rest of the Royal Rumble. Skip Sheffield, I heard, is number 30. Coming down on a zip line like Shawn Michaels. Stay, well, it's obviously, you'll know that when this plays. <clears throat> All right, guys. That sub from Subway with the, the veggie, the, the meatless patty, two thumbs up. I'm giving it five stars. It was delicious, and I got, again, Austin Aries told me this, that oftentimes it's not the meat that we miss, it's the seasoning and the condiments. And I gotta say, it's hard to argue with them on it. Especially the longer that you go without it. This stuff, it tastes, it tastes great. And I, get, I think some of you too, with the Beyond Meat stuff, the Beyond Meat from the store that you buy is non-soy, non-GMO. So I know like the Impossible Burger they talked about, maybe it had some estrogen and whatnot. I think they're going to clean that up. And I don't know where they were getting that. I, I have no doubt because that's not a good look for them to, to have that. And uh, I think they will, uh, <clears throat> but it's fast food at the end of the day. They're going everything as cheap as they can. So, but I'm, I, I really enjoyed it. Guys, check that out from Subway and the donuts are donuts. I'm just being a fat ass with those, get some calories. So those are always good. You don't need a review on those. If you don't like donuts, you're not a human. Pizza and donuts, tacos, get the fuck out of here if you don't like them. Um, I'm kidding. You could stay, guys. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. That was uh, feeding time, and I got, I got a little more to do. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Get hungry, stay hungry. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy, Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.